almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbormaster's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw it just like me. That bum deserved a lesson. Yeah, but he's a regular, and you're not. I can see that you and I are off to a bad start. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. 
There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. In a dead fall town, a drinking all strong beer. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it. The truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child. We saw them in the paper. So that you... I've got what I need. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? Oh, come Drinking it anything else? That'll be all for now. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious.
What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. If I had to bring all the girly boys, I would Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. It's a book, after all. You have no right to pure knowledge. And the doc. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. You again. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pit me up. Oh yeah? Oh, drink it. That'll be all for now. I told you to beat it. Oh, yeah. He's the same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You don't put that beast back in the water. You, you can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. You're not sailors. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. He's going to get us in We go where we want. Hey, you'll get us into trouble. You're already There's nothing in trouble. for you here either. Beat Come it. On, can we sort this out? You can see he's half drunk. There's nothing to sort out. Your chum wanted to stir us up.
The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. What a macabre souvenir. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. broken. This place seems half abandoned. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these war frats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the Stranded Whale. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. 
You know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? You tell me. I thought you would have worked it out. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I don't know. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. A handle. It must come from these old winches. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. I could use this old winch to lift the grating.
A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Ugh. It's not toxic. This is... primitive.
Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? What happened here? Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. <laughs> <laughs> 